The tree is a symbol of the deep connection between all things on this world. Branches and roots, heaven and earth, future and past are all intertwined to form what we know as life. The tree of life was sacred to the ancient Celts, who over 2000 years ago inhabited vast parts of Europe. The Celts lived in tribal communities of small-scale farmers and hunters. They were fierce warriors, but also remarkable craftsmen. In their magnificent works of art, they expressed a deep understanding of nature and her eternal laws. When the Roman Empire, along with Christianity, spread its influence over Europe, the Celtic tribes were destroyed one after another. They were finally driven back to the mountains, deep forests and islands of the northwestern fringes of the continent. In those remote regions, surrounded by treacherous seas, the Celts were able to survive and resist conquest. Although they were finally converted to the Christian faith, they were still able to preserve the language over the millennia. In the year 2018, 2068 years after Julius Caesar's conquest of Gaul, there are still native speakers of Celtic in Europe. They survived in the northwestern regions of France, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. The proper Celtic name for Wales, however, is Cymru, this mountainous region, with its rough and stunning beauty, is where the largest community of native Celtic speakers lives nowadays. Half a million people, or 19% of the Welsh population, still speak Celtic as their native language. In the northwestern parts of the country, up to 80 to 100% of the people are native Welsh speakers. Most of what we know about the peoples called Celts comes from ancient Roman and Greek writers who lived around 2000 years ago. However, the history of Northern Europe goes much farther back in time, long before the Romans wrote about it. Built by the Celts themselves, but also by their mythical ancestors thousands of years before them, Massive monuments of stone bear witness of ages buried in the sands of time. In the middle of a city, in a field, in your neighbor's backyard or deep in the mountains, hidden from the human eye, these stone monuments are not a rare occasion in Wales. You can find massive burial chambers built of slate or granite rock, sometimes still covered by impressive mounds. Large stone circles are not uncommon, inviting our imagination of what purpose they might have served. Here and there, men here are standing solemnly within the fields, puzzling the unsuspecting traveller.
Oh 